Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be talking about the Justicia Ambrosa. So the Justicia is also called the Jacobinia, the Brazilian Plume and also Justicia Aurea. As you all know, Aurea means gold and it is because this plant produces these lovely yellow golden flowers. This is a very tropical plant and if at all you stay in a very frost affected area then you can grow this as an annual or bring this home during the winter months. So the general tendency of this plant is to give out the flowers at the tip of the plant and with these drooping leaves. So this plant is an excellent shade loving plant because in its natural environment where it is actually found, it is found under the shades of these canopies of trees in the Brazilian forests. So the Justicia belongs to the Acanthaceae family to which the shrimp plant or otherwise called the Pachystachys lutea also belongs. So you might find some kind of semblance between the shrimp plant and the Justicia ambrosa. So this plant is truly exotic because you seldom find details about this plant on Google or YouTube. So the details I give here is mostly out of my own experience. So please take it with a pinch of salt. So this plant can grow to a height of 1.5 meter to 2.5 meters tall. So if you grow this in the ground, then it will look even more better than growing this in the container. So if you have a garden where you can just grow plants in the ground then please grow this plant if at all you get hold of this so there is an interesting story behind how i really got this plant so i had visited my nursery that i generally go and i found this plant and it did not look as radiant as it looks right now because it had those very pale yellow flowers but i still wanted to grow it and he kind of gave it at a very throwaway price of 20 rupees only and I was not really keen on getting this home but then I thought okay he's anyway giving it for 20 rupees so I would might as well take it. So when I got this home and I tried researching about this plant that is when I got to know that this is the Justicia Ambrosa and it is a very exotic Brazilian plant. And never ever make the mistake of growing this under full sun because I tried doing that because I thought Oh, it is a flowering plant and let me put it under full sun because there would be more blooms and it did the opposite. It actually killed the plant and the leaves were almost charring and it became black, the edges were burning etc and it, did, and it did not flower. So what I thought was I would bring this under some shade, give it some shade and try growing it. I cut off the stems and I kind of give it a, gave it a trim and look how radiant and glowing this plant is right now. So as far as I know, there are two kinds of pests that attack this plant. One is the mealybug and the other the whitefly. So you can find the whiteflies under the leaves of this plant, on the underside of the leaves. You must see for symptoms of whitefly. The symptoms of whitefly are very apparent. If the leaves are very droopy and they droop really low, that is an apparent symbol of whitefly infestation. So another tendency of this plant is that the flowers of this plant kind of close during the evening times and they open up during the morning times. So I will show you the opened up flowers in the later part of this video. So now at the moment the flowers are closed because I had taken this part of the video in the evening. So the Justicia Ambrosa is a very friendly pollinator plant and it attracts a lot of hummingbirds and bees. You must be very careful while potting this particular plant. The potting mix that you should use must be well draining and it should also have a lot of organic matter because remember it is under the canopies of trees and it gets all its nutrients from the falling leaves, from the falling fruits and all these organic matter that gets accumulated in the soil. So I would suggest that you use 50% sand, 40% garden soil and 10% compost. 
So here watering is another very important aspect of this plant. You must make sure that you do not overwater this plant. This plant does not like sitting in a lot of water. So if at all you live in a very hot humid area then make sure that you water this every day during summer. Depriving this of water also is not very advisable. Hence consistent watering is the key. So this plant also loves humidity so you can spray some water on their leaves especially during the summer months. And now let us talk about propagation. It is easily propagated with the help of stem cuttings. There is another variety of Justicia that is commonly grown in India which is called the Malabar nut which is used in a lot of Ayurvedic medicines so don't mistake that plant for this. So there is another pink colored flower from the same family it is called the Justicia carnea it looks almost similar but here the flowers look a little more fire cracky and a little more dispersed and the Justicia carnea has a little more compact flower but more or less it is the same that is it is a pink colored flower and this is a yellow colored flower there are white colored flowers as well so this plant will look exceptionally well if at all you grow this plant in clusters. Another thing this plant can be grown as is hedges. So this and the shrimp plant will really look good in hedges. So remember partial sunlight, no overwatering and well drainage are the key to maintaining a very good Justicia Ambrosa plant. So this part that I will be showing you now was shot on another day. So this is shot during the morning times and as you can see the flowers have opened up and it almost looks like a lobster or you could say that it looks like the beak of a bird. So this very action of opening up of flowers during the day is to allow pollinators like the hummingbirds or bees to insert their mouth parts into the flower and thereby pollinating the plant and making the birds and bees happy. I hope that I have made you happy by covering this particular episode with the Justicia Ambrosa. I really hope that you bring this plant home, if at all you find it. But until then, keep watching Urbanscape Bangalore and if you like this video, then subscribe, like and share. Until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.